and welcome to Love Making 101. And this Love Making 101 is going to be entitled Sew Together to Grow Together. Don't forget to check me out on the Death Wobble Podcast. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Not Germany. Not Germany. Okay. So let's pray. Father God, we give you all the praise. We glorify you. We thank you, sir, for everything you've done, everything you're doing, and everything you will do. Lord, we love you and we ask that you forgive us of sins we've committed knowingly and unknowingly and we repent of sins committed by us and our ancestors. Open our eyes, our ears, our hearts and minds to receive the word that you would like us to hear today. Make me your personal conduit so I can say to your people what you want me to say. Me in the background, you in the foreground, this is about your glory. We thank you for the revelation, the confirmation, and the clarity in the name of Jesus. Amen. So turn with me in your Bible to 2 Corinthians 9.6. The point is this, whoever sows sparingly will reap sparingly, and whoever sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. So I think when this is taught a lot of times, not all the time, but a lot of times people are um, teaching on the financial, like you know, give your offering, give your tithe. But when I read this, um, the Holy Spirit was basically like, but this means for everything. Everything is not just financial. If you so love, like sparingly, and you're not out there showing love to your fellow neighbor, you're, you're not doing it. You're being nasty to them. Then guess what? You're going to get more nasty back. Mm. Um, I always say like, like attracts like. I always say that. Because the principle is right here in the Bible. Whatever you put out there is what you're getting back. It's right here in 2 Corinthians 9 and 6. So if you um, sow a bountiful seed or, or um, a, oh, let's use me as an example. Okay. So I, I'm not perfect. Please don't ever think I'm perfect. I am, my God. Whew. As you can see, I am still in my own process and I'm growing each and every day. I'm not perfect and I don't want to be perfect. I kind of feel like that's what gives me character, my imperfections. But anyway, um, but for me, I'm a pretty pleasant person. I'm pretty generous. I'm pretty giving. I'm pretty positive. I have the joy of the Lord in my heart. Let me tell you. Um, and it's not an act. It's just who I am. Thank you, Father, for making me like that. I appreciate it. But um, because I so bountifully in that area, I get bountifully that back from other people. Somebody could be having a terrible back day. A terrible boot. Bad day. Bad day. You had a bad day. <laughs> you could have a bad day, but you come in contact with me, guaranteed, you're probably going to feel a little bit better. Just a smidge. Just a smidge. And I'm. it's God's glory. Thank you, Jesus. 
That's all it is. Because I'm like, Lord knows I have more than enough reason to not be the way I am. My God. But anyway, that was just an example of that. But every area. If we're talking about love making one on one, we're talking about relationships. Are you sowing discord? Are you are, are you sowing um, honesty? Mm. Are you sowing unfaithfulness? What are you sowing? Because what you're doing, you're gonna your partner is going to mirror it right back to you. My God, right back to you. This is why it's so important, my God. The people that you pick to be in your inner circle, it's so important. Like, what is your heart? What is your mind? My God, do you like confusion? Do you like um, sowing discord? Do you like contention? Are you, is that something you're attracted to? You gravitate to more of the negativity? Or are you gravitating towards more of the positive? Because those are the people that you need to be around. And you need to affirm and ask God to help make you that positive person. We are going to be wine. We're going to be wine. That means we're going to add and be better and better each and every day. We're learning. We're growing. Sew together to grow together. If we're talking about um, sewing, sewing into God's kingdom. My God. Okay. Let's go. Y'all ready? Y'all stretch? Mm -hmm. um, let's talk about. Y'all both should be active in serving. Whether you serve at a nonprofit, whether you serve at your church, whether you just serve your fellow man. If we're going to be out here passing out non-perishable food items, guess what? We're going to do it together. We are building together. We're serving together together. We're sowing into God's kingdom together so we would grow together and be that much more firm. Bam. Whew. But anyway, I will link one of the life-giving messages from Bishop Kevin Foreman and Harvest Church in the description. It will bless you, will inspire you, it will change your life. And thank you so much. It is such an honor and shalom.